up guys, it's Frank. It is Tuesday, April 16th, and it's about 5.15 a.m. right now. And I just woke up and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm gonna have a banana real quick right before my workout. And my macros for today will be 60 grams of fat, 250 carbs, and 220 grams of protein. This is the fourth and last week of my mini cut. And my macros have been going back and forth between uh, what they are today and then some days I've been doing 200 grams of carbs. So for right now, I'm just going to eat this banana, get my stuff together, take a pre-workout, and head to the gym. And I will see you guys when I get back from the gym. And this is how I weigh my bananas. I'll put it on the scale, turn it on, so then it's at zero. And then I eat the banana real quick, put the peel back on, and so now it's negative 108, so the banana was 108 grams. So it's just a easier way to, to weigh your bananas. Alright, what's up guys? It's about quarter to seven now, and I just got done at the gym. And I didn't mention before, if you've ever seen any of my day of eatings when I'm bulking, I don't eat usually before my workout. I would just put some Gatorade powder into my pre-workout and that would give me enough energy and everything to get to get through it. But since I've been on this cut, I tried doing the Gatorade for the first couple days and I just got really hungry throughout my workout and it was it was pretty crap a pretty crappy feeling, so I decided to start doing a banana pre-workout. Plus it'll give me a little bit more micros than just using Gatorade powder. So right now I'm just going to make breakfast. I'm going to make eggs with hash browns. I just got some unsalted butter here and I usually do about a half a tablespoon of that. And then I'm going to do four eggs. Hash browns I do four servings of this which is 252 grams. And then I do a serving of ketchup which is 17 grams. And that's about five grams of carbs for that. So I weigh everything out on my scale. I don't even stuff like this where it says the serving is a tablespoon. I always go by the it says one tablespoon or 17 grams. So I always just go by the weight. It's a little more accurate. And I'm also going to have a scoop of whey with some creatine monohydrate. This stuff right here. This is just Vitacost brand. And I just do five grams a day. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Alright guys, and here's the finished product. This is my scoop of whey protein with creatine. And then the eggs, hash browns, butter, and ketchup. And then I'm going to take my vitamins here. This is my multivitamin, the fish oil, glucosamine and chondroitin for, that's for joint support, and then a vitamin D. And there are there are macros in the in the multi and in the fish oil, so I count those. And yeah, there's also some in this glucosamine as well, so I count that every day. And I take the multivitamin and glucosamine three times a day. I'll take it now, sometime in the afternoon, and then at night. And then the fish oil, I take twice a day, so I'll take it in the morning and at night. And I take two capsules twice a day to get three grams of EPA and DHA combined total per day. And then this vitamin D, I just take 5,000 IUs in the morning. So that's it for now. I got class in about an hour, so I'm gonna go, go shower and go to class, and then I'll see you guys a little bit later when I'm having lunch. I'll put the macros for everything on the screen. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, it's about 11.30 right now, and I'm just having some lunch. I just cooked up some stuff, so I'll show you what I got here. I'm having two flat-out wraps. These are the wraps here. And I cooked 168 grams, which is six ounces of ground turkey breast. And inside, I just put some of, this, some of these greens here. Wrapped it up inside with some Frank's Buffalo and some Walton Farms Ranch. So I'm having that. These wraps are great. They have nine grams of fiber in, in one wrap, so it really helps me get my daily fiber in. And then I'm also having some oats. These are just quick oats that I cook. 
with some cinnamon, and then I did 70 grams of blueberries. There's 40 grams of oats there, which is about a half a cup. And then finally, I'm just gonna be having one like a little salad, and on top I put some of this raspberry vinaigrette, Walden Farms, and it's just this baby spring mix, so it's just kind of a mix of a bunch of different greens. And between this and there's a little bit in the wraps, it's about 85 grams, which is a serving of that. So this is what I'm going to be eating now, and this will keep me pretty full for a while with the salad and everything. And I, I'm going to be back in class from 1 to 4, so I want to make sure that what I eat now will keep me full until I get back from class and can eat a little bit later. And I'm just going to be drinking water with this. So that's about it for now. I'll put the macros on the screen again for the entire meal. You guys can add me and Harry both as friends on my fitness pal if you guys use that. The links are in the description box below, so just add us as a friend on there. And you can see what we're eating every day. So that's about it for now, and I'll see you guys later when I'm making dinner. Alright guys, it's about 10 to 4 right now. I got out of class a little bit early. So now I'm officially done with classes forever, which is pretty awesome. But I'm starving right now, so I just made some food really quickly, and I'll show you what I got here. I'm going to have another little salad with some of that raspberry vinaigrette Walden Farms. And then 232 grams of chicken breast that I just cooked. I weigh, I didn't mention it before with the turkey, but I weigh everything raw because I cook most of my food right before I eat it, so it's a little more accurate to do it that way. And then I'm also having, I think this is 315 grams of russet potato, and I just cooked those, there was two little potatoes that I just cooked in the microwave for five minutes, just stabbed it with a fork a few times, and then just cooked them for five minutes and mashed them up, and put some salt and pepper and onion powder on it, and then I'm going to have some of this Cherry Coke Zero, and I'm going to put mustard on the chicken. So, like I said, it's a little bit before 4 p.m. right now, so I'm going to do a little bit of work, and I'll get my last meal in a couple hours or so, probably, so I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, it's about 5.30 right now, and I, I was doing some work, and I felt like having a little snack, so this is what I'm having right now, real quick. Just two servings of this churned, it's low fat ice cream and chocolate chip. And two servings is 120 grams. And that'll give me 8 grams of fat, 36 carbs, and 6 grams of protein. So that's going to fill up the rest of my carbs for the day. That'll get me to 250. So I, had, I still have some fat and protein, so I'll probably just have some egg whites with some olive oil a little bit later and that'll cap off the macros for the day. Alright guys, so it's about 6.30 right now and I just cooked up the egg whites with some olive oil. I ended up doing 260 grams of egg whites and 14 grams of olive oil and that hit my fat perfectly at 60 grams and my carbs were a little bit over, they were 240 or two, sorry, 254 and so since my carbs were a little bit higher, I went a little bit under on my protein to 216 grams just to balance it out so the calories are still the same. So that's it for today. My fiber too was around, I think it was around 45 grams, which is pretty good. I was aiming for a minimum of 35 and I usually like to max it out at about 50. And so this is what it looks like here. It's just egg whites with some pepper and onion powder. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of everything that I ate today. I think I, I guess I kind of ate a little bro-ish, but that's just because my calories are lower, so obviously I'm going to eat foods that are going to fill me up a little bit more. But I, I still had some some dirty foods, some flexible dieting, IFYM stuff too, like the ice cream. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.